so coming to optimization of echo 2d echo images so this is the screen which we get when we turn on the 2d echo so all these uh, were explained earlier the uh, this is the soft menu analysis so we'll go into all these functions in detail so first is the grayscale map. When we talk about 2D Echo, we have the option of changing various grayscale maps. So what are these grayscale maps? Is the manufacturer has put in various maps, that is various shades of gray, and they have prepared various maps, that is map A, map F, like that. So each map will have various shades of this gray, and based on our preference, we can choose uh, which map we want. So this is an example that will show the difference between grayscale map F or map A. So this uh, uh, thing, uh, this is the video image showing the difference between the various. So you can see that there is a difference in the shade of this gray as well as the shade of this. So it's our preference and uh, to choose which grayscale map we can use. The importance, why do we need more maps, grayscale maps like this is that maybe if we change the map, we can detect various uh, structures which are not visualized. Let's say, for example, an LV thrombus or a small thrombus sitting here and all. Uh, if we change the map, may sometimes this thrombus may become very evident because they have it is having a different uh, shade of gray and it may become evident. And uh, various, like similarly, various structures uh, we can be made out clearly when we change the map. So uh, generally, we go with the default map only but in certain scenarios we may have to, when we are suspecting something more like a thrombus uh, or we are suspecting uh, a more on the vegetation on the aortic valve suppose if it's a vegetation or not we can try changing the grayscale map and look for more details like and it may appear more evident when we change the map coming to the frequency already explained the our range of frequency is three to five we have a low frequency probe with the deeper penetration so the higher the frequency less the penetration and we get a better contrast image so ideally we have to target for a higher frequency why because we get the more image resolution and contrast with the higher frequency uh, and uh, but the pen if the penetration is adequate with the maximum available frequency then we can continue with that higher frequency itself. But if it's not penetrating enough, then you will have to lower, bring down the frequency and all. So this is an image showing static image, uh, showing a low frequency setting and this is a high frequency setting. With a high frequency, you can see that this resolution is much better, more clear than this. It is more hazy, whereas this resolution is much better. So that is the difference when we go for a high frequency to target a high frequency and this is a semi uh, image showing difference in a low frequency as well as a high frequency you can see the clarity is more with the high frequency compared to this so this is a high this is a low frequency so that so like that we can optimize our image by changing the frequency in 2d mode this is another static image High frequency, 5 megahertz is having a better resolution than a 3 megahertz. Next is coming to dynamic range. This is a common setting we always see on the probe, but not knowing what it is. So dynamic range refers to the, it will adjust the appearance of the shades of gray on the image actually. That is, uh, when we put the dynamic range, the it's a value in decibels. We can uh, rotate the knob and change the dynamic range. The optimum is 70 to 75 decibels. Uh, when you reduce the dynamic range, that is low dynamic range, it will show less shades of gray. That is, it will become becoming more of like black and white, and this more of the shades will disappear. Whereas, if you increase the high dynamic range, you will get more shades of gray. More shades are coming. So. Uh, uh, in this example, uh, this is a low dynamic range here with the kept dynamic range kept at 50. This is more black and white and here more grays are not coming. It is appearing like a black and white more of. But what happens when you increase the dynamic range to 75, the shades of gray are appearing more and you in 
you are able to see more structures so same uh, for looking for lv thrombus or lv non compaction if you increase the dynamic range you can see more structures more clearly and better so this is the video of me showing the dynamic range this is with low dynamic range whereas this is with high dynamic range you can see more structures are clean clearly with this whereas this is more of a black and white image with low dynamic range so that is how dynamic range will affect your image quality same static picture so low level of dynamic range this is a optimal level so when it's in image you can change the dynamic range uh, and uh, according to your preference how it is viewing better or not you can put that dynamic range and continue with this next is coming to power power is like the strength of the ultrasound signal which you are giving from the ultrasound probe so it is expressed in decibels and the power uh, it is like whether you are using the maximum power or not and uh, the power setting is limited by the fda approval because based on certain standards so we are not supposed to use, the manufacturers are not supposed to put uh, power beyond their rated limit into their machines so uh, it is always better that we use the maximum use utilize the maximum power uh, and it will be generally safe uh, and that safety is based on that mechanical index and thermal index which uh, we have briefly talked about in this thing which we'll talk later so power is uh, shown here like zero here on this this thing and which we can adjust here that is in the soft menu we can go to this power and adjust the power keep it at the maximum no issue uh, provided the mechanical index and thermal index are within the limits so the power will control the amount of acoustic power applied in all the modes in all the modes the power this thing the same applies for doppler or uh, any this thing doppler or color doppler or m mode everything the power it's a one setting for all modes it is the same and when it is set to maximum it is equal to or less than the maximum acoustic power permitted by the fda so uh, keep the power maximum when the power is reduced you may the you, the image will become more noisy so keep it the maximum coming to mechanical index uh, mechanical index why is it called mechanical that is it denotes the extent of mechanical damage these ultrasound waves can cause to the tissue so mechanical index is shown on the screen on the top right hand corner mi.4 so that is the mechanical index and the tis is the thermal index so is for soft tissue so for various tissues they will show various abbreviations so Uh, we are talking about mechanical index now mi.4 so it is an attempt to measure part of an ultrasound with bio effects inversely proportional to the frequency higher frequencies will have a lower mechanical index and it is an indication of an ultrasound beam ability to cause cavitation related bio effects and is currently thought to be a reasonable proxy for very micro mechanical damage generally ultrasound is safe but still to measure any bio the effect or damage this beams can occur we, we use this mechanical index so the fda mandates that they should be kept below 1.9 and it doesn't have a unit uh, complex equation is there to calculate and all this we uh, need not go into details so what is the importance of mechanical index in our cardiac echo is that uh, when we are doing contrast echo it is of importance and the uh the relationship between frequency and cavitation is a different bubble size are susceptible to cavitation at different frequencies so two different ultrasound frequencies cavitate bubbles of different sizes so this concept will come when we discuss about contrast echo so we have to reduce the mechanical index when doing contrast echo i suppose so do mechanical index high frequency low pressure linear behavior no cavitation no harmonics so high, when we are doing harmonic imaging which will come into details later we have to keep a high mechanical index now coming to thermal index thermal index is that how much the tissue can get heated up by this ultrasound waves uh, so 
thermal bio effects so it is often displayed on ultrasound screen which has showed a tis so it depends on the acoustic power the tissue which is being heated or which the tissue which is being imaged and the path of that ultrasound beam so the clinical relevance in cardiac we need not bother about the thermal index because heart never gets uh, heated up that quickly when you are doing but this uh, thermal index comes of significance when they are doing fetal echo or when we are doing embryo ultrasound and all because uh, there it can play a significant role so we have to bother about the thermal index when we are doing a fetal echo or something so tis thermal index x stands for soft tissue tis b stands for bone and ta uh, c, c stands for the cranial bone so various based on the part which is getting it will come tis b or c like that on that echo machine now important another aspect we have to see about the sector size sector size is that is the area this is the sector so like a pie shape so uh that size is important because it will affect the frame rate so wider sector size decreases the frame rate that is the more bigger and wider you keep the sector it is not good it will decrease the frame rate and when the frame rate decreases it will decrease the temporal resolution so when it is when we are uh, scanning a fast moving structure like a valve the valve movement aortic valve it should typically decrease the uh, sector size so this is comparing image showing how the sector size is affecting how the sector size is affecting so at and uh, we are also not that the depth also will affect so with the wider sector width the frame rate is 43 at uh, 240 mm depth here at uh, 240 mm same the frame rate is 73 and here we are getting a higher frame rate uh, when we are reducing the sectors with to less so the frame rate is improving you are getting a better frame rate so reduce the sector size get a better frame rate so this is a cine image that will show better frame rate with at of 83 hertz this is showing a frame rate of less 73 only and when the sector size is increasing it is showing a very this thing so this is more good resolution better clear than these two now coming to the sector depth so whenever you put a probe there will be you after the heart if there is unwanted space here this is this much depth is not required so you better reduce the depth because reduce the depth and increase the frequency so when we reduce the depth the it becomes more clear and not so this is a static image when this is a unwanted depth to 110 depth is not required this is the optimal depth so we see a cine image how that this affecting so better resolution and better uh, more structures are visible here dynamic uh, range is more so we are seeing more of this the structures are not seen here now coming to focus focus is like uh, when we are seeing a flax view we can focus if we are focusing on the mitral valve or the aortic valve we can there is a focus focus point marker which we can focus it towards that particular valve and uh, at that point the transducer will focus more and will give a better resolution compared like uh, how the a phase array focuses on that which the mechanism which we had uh, seen earlier in the phase array um, okay, so how the uh, steering as well as the focusing that picture we had seen so likewise so this is how it will focus on thing so that resolution will be increased so this is the focus marker which i told you so this we can increase or decrease so when we decrease it and bring it to this level that area will be more focused so we are bringing down it and we are able to focus that so there will be see, the valve leaflets are more this thing when we decrease the focus point there so this is another static image 
so you can have one focus line or can have two focus line so this is a two focus line range of focus so this this thing we are bringing it down here because we want to focus on this area trying to see the pulmonary veins entering into the LA. So here you can see more the here the focus point is here whereas in this image we are bringing it more down so we are able to see more more and the focus point is near the mitral valve here it is brought down whereas here the focal is more on top we are able to see more clearly at the valve annulus and the valve leaflet and this area also we are able to see more clearly compared to this image so that is the news of a focus point so how does it do we had already seen the phase array focusing it at particular point that is uh, that is they fire at after a specific end of time initially this is fired then this is fired simultaneously then that likewise the beam is focused into a particular point now coming to overall gain overall gain is the gain is generally the brightness of the image so over, there is uh, two types of gain that is the overall gain as well as the pg the time gain compensation overall gain overall the brightness of the image we can increase that is uh if you press auto gain button there is it will automatically adjust the overall brightness according to the scenario and after if the auto gain also it's not uh, satisfying then you can manually increase the overall gain so that is also expressed in decibels so here we can see uh gain is 4 decibels here gain is only 0 so as in image of that this is sub optimal gain whereas here we are getting more better gain and be able to see more clearly uh, what is time gain compensation tgc this now you must have seen already in your exo machine so uh, this is gain increased based on the area on the screen that is this if you increase this it will increase the gain on the upper part of the screen this will increase on the lower part of the screen uh, i should say it is on the upper part of the uh, areas uh, so in the field field so this is for the near field and this is for the far field so optimum this is the optimum how you should because why because when the ultrasound is passing through the tissue uh, initially the when it goes deeper and deeper it gets it is natural that the ultrasound waves in amplitude decreases as it goes in deeper and deeper so when it goes deeper and deeper it goes it becomes more darker and darker so uh, typically to compensate that it is getting darker and darker at the deeper areas you have to increase the gain so at the near field where whereas you need not increase because it is of good intensity here as it goes down it is getting darker so you have to compensate that by increase the far field gain more compared to the near field so this is the optimum setting which the which they say but typically when we image we just have to manipulate even the near field also a little more ticket so it is our personal preference and uh, based on what we see we can adjust according to that so this is a normal gain here the gain is too much and gain is too low uh this overall gain actually so this is how the tgc this the upper near field is kept too dark here here the near field is get too bright here so both so uh, tgc why is it called a time gain compensation and this uh, compensation we know that it is compensating because it is going more deeper and deeper gain we are adjusting again time gain so why is it called time in uh, ultrasound depth is synonymous with time because Uh, the ultrasound machine calculates the depth of the structure based on how long it takes for the ultrasound to reflect back and return to the transducer so that is why it is called time gain transducer if we, it would have been much easier to uh, understand if we say it as depth gain compensation but the manufacturers has uh, termed it as tgc or time gain compensation so that is how this terminology comes time gain compensation time is synonymous with depth and it is compensating for the more dark it is getting deeper into the tissue 
so now coming to zoom zoom already everybody will be knowing like when we zoom a picture uh generally when we zoom a picture if you go very high high zoom that resolution uh, will become uh, low and the image will be blurred suppose we are in zoom in a, in this crowd we are zooming into this person's face we may not be able to see it more clearly because the resolution of the entire picture is low but in echo the advantage is the resolution is very good and even if you magnify or even if you zoom it it will not affect the resolution so even if you zoom it you can you see it still more clearly and uh, so therefore you can use zoom very liberally in the scene if you want to see a well uh agitation or something you can use it liberally and zoom it so this is how zoom works this particular area you are zooming in and you are seeing more of this area in the this is lvot view zooming in more to the lvot view without any change in the resolution actually the resolution and the clan and the uh, structures are seen more distinctly and clearly now coming to frame rate frame rate is the number of frames per second so more the frame rate more the resolution so in one second so this is 60 fps means 60 frames per second so image produced per unit time higher the frame rate higher the temporal resolution so temporal resolution ability to see is moving points moving points coming to compression uh compression uh, will affect the image contrast why because in a normal ultrasound waves if we plot it on a graph like this at the, there are alternating areas of compression and rarefaction so at the areas of compression we get more dark so the more you compress the more gray sheet will come together and therefore if you, this compression value uh will affect the contrast so if there is a knob for compression the setting you can change for compression so if you uh lower uh if you increase the uh, compression more the compression more the contrast that is how compression works like and uh, rejection this is another setting in uh, optimization rejection that is we can Uh, there will be so many low velocity reflected uh, frequencies that are reflected from unwanted areas when we perform an echo so these low level echoes can be eliminated by rejection and this will be eliminated and these areas will appear darker so that is we call rejection and the, if we see more noise we can increase the rejection value more and therefore these noises will be eliminated that is why we call rejection next is contour this is also a soft setting we can uh, change contour generally means the border that is uh, the border that is a word meaning of contour like in a mountain there are various contour like or uh, this is uh, for beauty contouring and highlighting like uh, for facial thing and all so generally contour means the edge enhancement that is the extent of edge enhancement that is when we are trying to trace the image if we put the contour and trace the setting we can get a more edge detection and that edge can be traced more this thing and contour can be seen more clearly when we put on that function so that is contour uh, next is b mode colorization that is um, generally we see it as a black and gray black and white image or a gray shade but if we if we put apply a sepia a color over that certain structures can be seen more clearly so uh, in certain scenarios we can apply a b mode colorization uh, and we can apply a color a single uniform color over that and uh, that color will show over that and it will, we can see most some structures clearly so the sepia map varies different different colors green uh, etc will come so we can choose accordingly so that is the b mode colorization so this is the difference between the cine image showing the uh, different colorization b mode colorization and we can, with this colors we can choose next is coming to harmonic imaging so harmonic imaging we you know the harmonium 
and uh, uh, this principle the harmonic imaging we have to know generally when we send in a ultrasound image the tissue will reflect and will send back an image but uh, at times the image on the tissue on which this ultrasound beam strikes sometimes the tissue itself will generate a sound wave that is different from the sound we have sent in that is the sound which we have sent in is called the fundamental uh, wave fundamental frequency and the tissue by itself will generate a uh, frequency uh, to start with the higher frequencies on that tissue and it will send back so based uh, so this based on this principle uh, we can get a more clear image so the tissue also will generate a sound wave so based on that there is a is called the harmonic imaging so the uh, sound wave which is generated by the tissue itself can be detected by the frog but what we have to do is we have to eliminate the fundamental the frequency which we have sent in and that that also will reflect back right? so that we have to eliminate and we have to take in only what the tissue is missing so the tissue is generating this frequency because of this fundamental frequency is striking on that so and that new frequency is generated in integral multiples of the fundamental frequency and this we typically use in contrast echo so at the site of entry of the fundamental frequency into the tissue a high frequency sound wave is generated by the tissue and uh, at the deeper within it that will uh, that uh, amplitude the strength of that signal is maximum at the 4 to 8 cm within the chest wall so this with this picture suppose we are sending a fundamental frequency through the chest wall so the uh, as it goes deeper and deeper the amplitude decreases but this harmonic uh, signal is generated by the tissue and it is starting from deep within and it is coming towards the transducer so at the deepest area that is typically within 4 to 8 cm will have the best high frequency harmonic image and as it comes towards the transducer it will come decrease in amplitude so that is a basics of harmonic uh, image so it will come in multiples that is first harmonic second harmonic like that so based on this principle only this music instruments harmonic harmonic instrument and all works it is on yeah, multiples of this fundamental frequency so like i said we have to get the sound wave generated by the tissue we have to eliminate the fundamental frequency so the ultrasound machine does this by two ways that is it will either use a filter and filter of the fundamental frequency the other method is a pulse inversion that is uh this is the fundamental frequency which the probe is sending into the tissue and when it strikes the tissue it will generate the harmonic frequency so this is in phase now when we make it out of phase this will eliminate the fundamental frequency and only the harmonic amplified harmonic signal will be remaining so this is called pulse inversion and based on this technique we can eliminate the fundamental frequency so that is a just a basic of harmonic imaging the harmonic imaging advantages we can get more clearer uh, pictures so this is a static image in fundamental high normally without harmonic we are using and this is with the harmonic image this thing we are getting more details of the valves the particulars of the image are more clear in this cine image showing normal for normal imaging versus a harmonic image next we will discuss about doppler and optimization of doppler settings